Hi there, I'm Professor Blackmore, and I want to welcome you to my new series called Don't Waste Your Corona Time. And uh, in this edition, I want to talk to you about e-trial notebooks. And so I appreciate that many of you or many of us have lost our equili equilibrium due to a loss of a regular schedule. And so I want to encourage you not to waste uh, this valuable time of great reflection. And you should be considering uh, how you can uh, look around your office to improve your productivity by saving yourself some time. And we should all be looking for opportunities to save time because time is money. And so we should be looking for some of those uh, very time consuming tasks uh, to see how we can automate uh, some of those tasks. And so today I want to talk to uh, many of you about thinking about moving towards using a uh, OneNote or some other electronic cloud-based uh, e-trial notebook, or at least to take the baby step of preparing a case by uh, storing some of your file materials as you prepare for your next trial by using or storing that information in a cloud-based uh, e-trial notebook scenario. And so I wanna talk to you about uh, OneNote because uh, I think it is just the greatest and that is what I use for my e-trial notebooks, my deposition notebooks, my mediation notebooks, my hearing notebooks. I use it for everything. I use it for my shopping list and for all other areas of productivity in my daily life and in my business life. And so I want to talk to you a little bit about that today. And so I want to show you first in this particular installment and then later on, uh, I'll build on some of the things that you can use OneNote for, but um, I wanted to try to show you how you can just set up your free OneNote account, okay? And so OneNote is free. You already have OneNote. It is a part of your Microsoft Office suite of uh, products like Microsoft Word and your Excel spreadsheets. Well, OneNote is another uh, program that is included in that feature uh, a package of software. And so today, the first thing I wanna do is I just wanna show you how to activate this free uh, product or software that you already have. And so the First thing that I want to do before that, though, is to talk to you about why, you know, you should have OneNote. I've already told you how uh, I have benefited from the productivity in using the program, but you can also use it for things like this. Right now, we have children at home who we're entrusted with the uh, the task of schooling them now uh, as teachers. And some of us, I don't know anything about math. I'll be the first one to say that. Uh, but you can use the OneNote math feature for some math problems. Now, for some of the more uh, advanced calculus, trigonometry type of math problems, this would not be uh, the thing that would help you, but you can help your children with some basic math features using your uh, OneNote math feature. And so I'm gonna show you how to use it. And so here is just, let's say, a math problem that I've found. And so the what you wanna do is you wanna go over here to this draw tab and 
you want to hit this lasso now the thing that I find about this lasso the easiest way to use it is to start down at the bottom part of whatever it is that you're trying to capture and then go around to your left and come back around and then it will place a box uh, on this math problem and so then all I have to do is then touch this math feature here and so then it'll come over here on the side it will give you this little math problem here just to see if it picked up what you wrote okay so I'm gonna have to fix this a little bit so uh, here it says okay put a circle around the part of the equation you want to fix. Okay, so I want to fix this eight because that's the part that's not coming in correctly. Then it'll give me some options to choose from. So then it's the eight that I want to fix. So now it's fixed over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click done. Okay, so now I can go ahead and uh, It'll give me some choices uh, to go through. I want to do an evaluate, okay? And so then it will evaluate the problem for me. Uh, and then I can just put it over here in my notebook. Then it can also give me the steps to fixing or the, the solution steps for the problem. And I can also add that to my notebook. But then also what it will do with the immersive reader that also is a part of this OneNote, uh, very powerful uh, resource, is it has an immersive reader. So then it can read back the solutions uh, for the problem. Now, the first thing that you want to do is you can... Uh, you know have a female voice or a male voice or a slow voice and uh, so that is how you use the math feature uh, but then I'm just gonna go over to OneNote and show you how you can uh, just sign up for this uh, free program. Okay, so you just go over to OneNote.com and I'm already signed up for this program, but if you uh, want to uh, watch a video where I show you how to go step by step for signing up, but it's very easy. And so all you have to do is just sign up first. So you have to use uh, an email address uh, to do the sign in procedure. And so you want to make sure that it's the email address that that you use often so that you can be able to just use that particular email address to sign in to the program because once you once you use that email address that is the email address that you will use for all of the other uh, resources that Microsoft Office has and they have a lot of free resources so I'm just going to use one of my And then I'm gonna sign in. Okay, now I'm gonna open up another window here so that I can talk to you about this. Now, uh, what you get with this OneNote uh, account once you activate it, what the way that it works is that once your files or once you put anything into OneNote, it immediately syncs. So earlier, I was showing you this math problem here. 
Now, if I were to log into the account that I put this information in, you will see how this immediately synced over to the online version. Or if I wanna use it on my cell phone, I can use it on my cell phone as well, or on my pad, uh, my Samsung, I have a Samsung notepad that I use it on. So once I sign into OneDrive, And I have a course where I go step by step and I show you all of these particular uh, features. And so once you set up your new account, you get five gigabytes of storage. And this is where all of your uh, files sync through this particular file here, this file called documents. Okay. So if I'm in, if I open up this notebook, I'm just going to open up this sample notebook here okay so I'm gonna close out of my other notebook and sign in I'll show you this in a minute okay so now I just signed into this notebook on my desktop. So this is my desktop version that I just slid over here. Now I'm going to go and find this notebook here that I'm working in. And I'm going to open this notebook. Now this is my desktop version that I just slid over here. Just gonna minimize it. Okay, so this is my desktop version. But this is my online version of this same notebook. Okay, so I'm just gonna say test. Okay. Now this is my desktop version. You can see how that information has synced over uh, immediately. The way that it does that is through this OneDrive. If I were to click on this in OneDrive, it'll open up this notebook and you'll be able to see in the background, that is how it syncs. So even on my hand, on my uh, cell phone, uh, it will sync over just that immediately. So if you have people back in the office that are working with you and you're in trial, you can communicate back and forth. Somebody can upload a document for you or you can upload a document in court or in trial using your OneNote uh, notebook and it will sync immediately through your cloud version here. And so just in this first installment that is just a few of the things that i want to talk to you about that you can do with this very very powerful uh, program and so when i come back i'll talk to you a little bit more i'll give you a peek at my uh, trial notebook uh, template so that you can see uh, the template that i use to set up all of my uh, you know, trials that may come after, I would already have a template that I use and I don't have to recreate the wheel. I can just go back to my uh, main or my, my main trial uh, notebook template that I use to make all of my uh, trial notebooks. And so I can talk to you about that 
uh, in a later installment of this Don't Waste Your Corona Time. And if you've enjoyed these tips, I ask that you please subscribe to my YouTube uh, uh, channel and that you please also follow me on Instagram. And if you would like a copy of my pre-made OneNote e-trial notebook template, please visit me on my website at professorblackmore.com. Have a great evening and don't waste your Corona time.